Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is April the 2nd and I'm going to be working in the garden today. Not too much um, that I'm going to be doing inside of the house. So I figured let's put some makeup on. Why not? Even though I'm in my own backyard, no one's going to see me. It kind of makes me feel better. The sun is shining. It's a nice day and I put on a bright, bright green shirt and I am that girl that does a matchy, matchy eye look and I am unapologetic about it. So we're going to throw on some eyeshadow, a little tinted moisturizer and have a great day. So I hope everybody is staying safe and um, being hygienic, taking care of themselves. Hopefully your allergies aren't bothering you as much as mine are. Um, I'm using the Lancome Skin Feels Good. It's a tinted moisturizer, basically. I have to use the shades 5N Tan and 8N Honey. Um, I don't know why Lancome made such a big jump between 5 and 8. Um, it's kind of a pet peeve because this is a fantastic product. If you watched my previous video on um, my favorite summertime foundations. This was one of them. But I do have a problem with the shade range because up until shade four, you have sh a few shades on each number. And then after four, they just go five, then eight, then I think 12, maybe 14. I, I can't remember right off the top of my head. I'm not sure why they skip around like that. Oh, I've already um, put sunscreen on, by the way, because this does have sunscreen in it, but it's not enough. And um, I do use AHAs on my skincare, so I'm not trying to have any problem with sun damage. But yeah, so back to the Lancome um, skin tint. I don't know why they do that because in most other Lancome complexion products, they have fantastic shade range. So I'm not, Lancome, please reach out. Let me know why you did that. Like they're not watching this. <laughs> but if anybody knows, please let me know. And I get the whole um, tinted moisturizers. You don't need to have exact matches, but... It just doesn't make sense. The numbering system doesn't make sense. Um, it just seems like that big jump in shade range was intentional based on the numbers. And I'm not sure why a good, reputable company like Lancome would do that. So I don't know. I do like the formula. I love the formula, actually. Or I wouldn't have spent all the money buying these because these weren't cheap either. So... That's that on that. My concealer combo that I've been wearing when I do wear makeup recently has been the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. I'm using this shade 60WR. I use this one sort of like a color corrector. And I'm using this Oma Beauty Concealer in the shade T3. I think it's T3. It's really hard to read that. So I've been using those two. I tend to go a little darker with my concealer because a little darker and a little more red, um, a little more orange. It helps with the severe dark circles. So a little of that right there. And I did notice with the Urban Decay, it took me a long time to figure out which shade to get. It does um, dry down to a different shade. So something about these two concealers well quite frankly they're similar in shade but something about the formula of those two they work really nicely this is a little more creamy a little more emollient than this um, urban decay one is more long lasting so i like them together y'all gonna have to excuse my eyebrows I need to um, groom them and pluck them. I just haven't, no real reason, just haven't. 
You ever have stuff like that? You're like, I couldn't be bothered. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. Look at that concealer on. Real quick, real easy. Like I said, we're going to the backyard. So to be honest with you, I really just want to put on eyeshadow because that makes me feel good. And it's fun for me. It's sort of like my art escape. <laughs> um, so I do all of this stuff so that my bright, crazy eyeshadow just looks a little more balanced. But, you know. And it's just good old Laura Mercier. She always does the job. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to do anything special. This powder just works. I mean, I have other powders and there's a couple that I wanted to try, but especially coming into the summertime, because that's when I usually use a little bit more powder like most people, because you get a little dewy when you're outdoors doing stuff. But this powder, it just works. I don't have to think about it. <clears throat> now for my face, for all over on my face, I do tend, if I need to feel, feel like I'm going to be sweaty or something like that, I do do a light dusting of powder all over. And for that, let's get a powder brush. For that, um, I like this one, this It Cosmetics one. I do like the Hourglass powder a little bit better because it really doesn't give me a powdery look but it keeps the shine down i have normal to dry skin so i don't need a lot of powder but this one is really really nice but for under my eye it's not enough but for the rest of my face it's it's really really nice all right so let's go into the fun stuff so the palettes that i'm going to use today are the master palette by mario this palette i won in a giveaway from a channel that i watch very very often her name is melissa q here on youtube and she had a giveaway in december and i entered and i won so i was really excited to get this i know it's not a new palette but she had an extra brand new one and i scored it and i've been using it and i um I see why everybody loved it so, so much. So I'm going to be using this shade Bronx right here and um, to kind of complement our matchy green eye look. And thank you, Melissa, for that giveaway prize. And I'm going to also be dipping into the Ace Beauty Oceanic Palette. That is what she looks like. She's beautiful. All the blues and greens that your heart could desire. Blue is my favorite color, and um, I've been told that green looks good on me, so I wear that um, from time to time as well. So let's go in with a fluffy brush and use the shade. Let's go in with seaweed right there. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. <laughs> palette by Mario and I'm going to use that in the outer V. going back into our ace beauty palette the oceanic palette and we're going to go there we're going to go there with I'm trying to choose between jellyfish and anemone jellyfish we're going to go with it all over the lid let's get a nice 
What is this brush from? Luxie. It's a small shader brush. I think I got it in a boxy charm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't wet the brush or anything. This this palette by Ace Beauty is fantastic. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's go back in with um, here's my brush. Oh, it's right in front of me. Let's go back in with a little more of that Bronx shade from the um, Master Palette by Mario. And blend that in a little bit better. Kind of go back and forth between the shader brush and that um, blending brush and just until it looks nice and blended to me. I feel like that looks good. Well, that was fun. Thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for coming. Put our palettes back. Now let's go in with a little eyeliner. We're gonna use my Jessie's Girl liquid eyeliner. This one is discontinued. All of the Jessie's Girl's liquid eyeliners are discontinued and I'm really sad about it. They were so good, they were so good. It was a brush tip um, liquid eyeliner, $6.99 I believe at Rite Aid and they just discontinued and I don't know why. I mean, I bought all of them I could think of to keep the business afloat, but it didn't, it just, I guess they weren't popular enough, but I'm going to use mine until I don't have them anymore. to finish up with a little mascara. I've been using a few of these um, samples that I have. The one for my top lashes is the Roller Lash. It's fine. It still doesn't beat my favorite Maybelline. Um, my favorite Maybelline uh, Lash Sensational. Um, but this is the one I'm using right now. with lengthening I will say that
bottom lashes. I've been using a sample of the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. This came in the Sephora birthday, um, little birthday gift. And I've been using that one for the bottom lash line. Fenty bronzer in Islanding. For blush and highlight, I'm going to take it back and use this Becca Duo. I have mine in Prosecco Pop and Pomplamousse. So I'm going to use that nice corally pink. Very summery kind of a duo. And then I'll take this little highlight brush with the Prosecco Pop. Okay. Only thing left is to brush these eyebrows, <laughs> put on some lip gloss, and call it a day. This is um, just some Essence Clear Eyebrow Gel. Works for me. <laughs> All of my Fenty Gloss Bombs are in my purse, which I use them daily. So the only one I have in front of me right now is these Pat McGrath um, Flesh Fantasy Lip Gloss. It's a little more cool tone than I think this look calls for, but... It'll be fine. It's it's literally a nude. You can barely see it. Alrighty guys, thanks for hanging out with me, putting on a little makeup, making ourselves feel a little bit more spruced up, and we'll go outside and plant some dirt. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying time with your family, able to relax a little bit, and thank you for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time.